So yeah guys, I finally bought a chassis mount for my BRZ. It's about time. Uh, as you guys can tell, the BRZ is looking a little bit different because it finally has a carbon fiber trunk, but it's very dirty because of the pollen right now. So yeah, me and Eric, we threw it on, got rid of the other wing. So now we have full carbon trunk. And then I just bought this chassis mount wing the other day. This is it right here. It's a little disassembled right now, but we're going to start trying to put it onto the car. The only issues that we're going to have right now is that we have to cut through the rear bumper. And if I want to keep this carbon diffuser, I'm going to have to cut through it as well, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not yet worst comes to worst i do have a rear diffuser that came with the rocket bunny kit that's in the back of the garage i'll show you right now so that's sitting way back there so if i have to go with that i can so i kind of have a couple different options to work with right now so yeah anyways right now what we got to do is take off the rear diffuser and see if i could start installing the big metal piece that goes in the back of the car i'll show you right now i forget what it's exactly called but this part right here this needs to get mounted to the back and then the wing hooks onto it So we're gonna go and get a Honda Civic right now and get back to the car later on. Probably within the next hour, hour and a half, we're gonna start working on this again. Um, I wanna do it. Like, I think the chassis mount on this car is just gonna look so clean, like with the carbon trunk and the duct lip, like, it's just gonna make it look really good. And then if we mess up or anything, we have this bumper. And if we mess up with that, I mean, I don't know. We'll figure, I'm sure we can figure it out, but. We're planning not to mess up right now, and I have no more paint for this car until I paint this a new color. I don't want to mess anything up, so I just kind of want to get this done with one shot. And once I'm ready to paint it, I think we're just gonna redo the whole bumper and everything. So, does that make sense what I'm saying? Sure. <laughs> Essentially what I want to do is that I don't want to mess up, and I just need to keep this bumper for right now so it matches the car. And then eventually when I change the color, then I can mess up as much as I want. But for right now, we just need, a, we need this to work out. So we're gonna go get the Civic right now and I'll catch it back with you guys once we get back here. Bro is making a parlay. Maybe if I record you long enough, you'll get up. I really don't care. Oh, look, actually it looks like you're not doing nothing. Yo, notice how you're caring a little. So it is the next day and we did nothing yesterday after we got home. We ended up just watching the basketball games going on for the playoffs. So today we're going to finally get this wing on because I need to get it on. Uh, but I do want to show you guys the Civic that we picked up for 1100 bucks yesterday. There it is right there. It is not too bad. It is a stick shift. I think an 01. I mean, yeah, obviously has its damage and stuff like on the, on the body, but that's not too big of a deal. And, uh. Of course, can't go wrong with the five speed. There's really like nothing wrong with it mechanically. I mean, it runs and drives pretty smooth. And we actually also just picked up a Honda Element today, which is awesome. This thing is freaking sick. Got this for 1600 bucks. This thing was a steal. But today is the main focus on the BRZ. We gotta get this done. Gotta get the chassis mount on. This thing's gonna look super aggressive once we get it finished. So I'm gonna get to work right now, try to get these bolts off so that I can get the rear bumper off. And let's just get working. So we got the bumper off and the wheel off because I had to get to behind those two bolts right there on that fender. I didn't show you guys in the video because I just want to get this done and I want to get the wing on. So now what we got to do is take these bolts off. One, two, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's one more underneath right there and one more right there. So six bolts total, they're going to come off and then we can start working on putting on the wing. All right guys, so the piece is finally out and now we can start putting this thing on. 
So what's gonna happen is it's gonna go the same way, essentially just taking the bolts that we just took off and putting them back on and uh, fitting on the same way basically. So it's just gonna sit like that. That shit ain't moving. Look at that. Bam. All right, so we're good with that. I gotta go to dinner right now. Gonna kick it back up once we are putting on the wing tomorrow and we will be set with that. I am so excited, this could be so sick. Look at that. Oh my gosh, yo, you just wait. With the carbon trunk, oh my, yo, I am so hyped. It is coming along pretty good. The wing is looking crazy with the carbon. Look at that. Car definitely needs a wash though, but looks really good. And just like that, the wing is put on. It is all done. This thing looks crazy. It looks great with this car. I think it makes it look super aggressive. And a big help to Eric, because Eric slaved it out here with me and grinded it out, so. Big thanks to him, because he had a chassis mount before too on his 350Z. So we're gonna cut to that right now, and I hope you guys enjoy.